Guys are Krister and Sneed One, who are going to be doing a Mega Man 2 any percent randomizer for you all today. Um, gonna let them introduce themselves really quick, and I believe they also have a commentator with them, uh, Charlie Boy, who is also going to be uh, doing commentary during the run for them, as they do not want to spoil the randomizers, so... Take it away, guys. Yo, hello, uh, it's me, Chrissy, or Kaiser Christer. Some of you might know me, I'm that crazy Norwegian guy in Amad's uh, chat. Um, I'm joined here by um, Snipen. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> yes, doing the Mega Man of the randoms. Yes, yes. And uh, we're also joined by uh, Charlie, who's going to be uh, doing uh, the commentary for this race. Hello. Yeah, hello, everybody. My name's Charlie Boy. I will be your commentator behind the Mega Man 2 randomizer currently. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, this uh, race go down between Chrissy and Snape for a great cause. All right, uh, we're going to um, get ourselves ready and uh, we'll start the race uh, very, 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 very soon. So let's go. Good luck, sniping. Good luck. All right, sounds like these guys are ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit out of the race room that, uh, and we'll allow the countdown to happen, as you see on uh, Snape's stream. Oh. One second, I just want to get this working for you again because it was not actually on the right screen. So just let me fix that for you. Right on, right on. Uh, I did release them, uh, so they should be counting down, uh, and I will catch up to the beginning, but uh, as soon as I get to see the stream again. However, I will say this, uh, the beginning of the randomizer, uh, basically uh, we're playing any percent, which means that you're allowed to zip, uh, and we're also playing hidden stage names, which means that... Uh, yeah, all the, uh, the stages that are normally there on the uh, boss select screen, Metal Man, Quick Man, etc. Uh, those will not be there, so our runners will not know which stage they are going to. Uh, we are playing Tournament A settings uh, for anybody who followed our tournament this year, uh, which exactly means that. And as we see, Chrissy finds Airman stage and unfortunately finds a crusher hiding behind the clouds. Uh, and Snape has found Bubble Man stage. He is setting up for a pause buffer zip that uh, skips the first half of the stage here, and he successfully gets it. Uh, these two runners are also showcasing new Mega Man sprite swaps. Uh, Post-tournament uh, sprite swaps, as you see Stantler on uh, Chrissy's screen. Uh, that, I believe, goes with a meme of some sort. Maybe somebody else could uh, uh, enlighten us and chat about that. I believe it uh, has something to do with. Uh, but yeah, Chrissy uh, wanted to surprise everybody, so he requested that I make a special sprite for him. And uh, meanwhile, Nate finding his way into the boss door with uh, Bad Box Art Mega Man, um, which comes out of the Mega Man 1 ROM hack that was released recently, I believe. Uh, so he's going to find Metal Man in uh, Bubble Man's stage, and a very close uh, battle of attrition there. And yeah, he's going to go ahead and make his way out. With just a pixel to spare, he's going to go into stage 2, which is Crash Man stage for Snape. Not a very good stage uh, to find uh, early on without any items. And as... Uh, you don't really have uh, a way to zip. Besides, there is a pause buffer zip, which we see is Nape, uh, that was recently found uh, last year, I believe it was, by Kame Senen, uh, our buster-only runner from the community. Uh, Snape's going to set up for the pause buffer, clip into the wall, and uh, away we go. Meanwhile, Chrissy fighting one of the worst enemy sets in air uh, crabs in the air. Uh, you hate to see them. Uh, there is, it is kind of okay because there's a pattern that goes where the pattern, uh, the crab falls behind you and then ahead of you, so you kind of plan it out a bit. But yeah, it can be rough to deal with at times. And, uh, we'll find out. And Snape does indeed perform his zip uh, well, and he's at the checkpoint. Uh, meanwhile, Chrissy finds Woodman in air stage and takes him down. There are four bosses that are weak to the buster, so uh, 
a week or to the buster, we'll play in easy mode, quote unquote, which is uh, equivalent to vanilla normal mode. So buster damage is doubled. And uh, yeah, Chris makes it through air, finds his way to Bubble Man stage, which is familiar territory. Uh, meanwhile, it looks so Bubble Man stage did take have item three, which you see Snape being able to at least boost up the back half of Crash Man stage here, and uh, one of our quality of life additions for the randomizer is the, the ability to be able to pause cancel weapons on the screen. So, in other words, uh, Snape can save some item energy or weapon energy by pausing, uh, which allows him to boost up the ladders a little better. That is a vanilla strategy, however, um, you're not allowed to pause. So it gives you a little bit more leniency when uh, climbing. And we see Sonic uh, replacing Quick Man Sprite here in this particular seed. And uh, Snape's gonna take him out and find his way into Wood Man stage. The good thing about item 3 is item 3 also allows you to set up for the Gold Wood Zip, uh, which is a zip that will. Uh, I say, uh, do the same thing basically as the Crash Zip or any other zip. Uh, save time, get you into the wall. Um, and basically, from the checkpoint screen, uh, Snape's gonna get into the wall and death warp into the boss room, which ought to save around 10 seconds from doing it uh, the zipless route, which would be going through what we call in the, in the tree house, which is like the uh, the other house, the other half that we will be skipping. Assuming Snape's able to perform this, Chrissy, in the meantime, takes out uh, Metal Man and Bubble Man's room. He's going to get equipped with the Gyro Launcher, which is not really a weapon. <laughs> Just another thing that this uh, randomizer uh, randomizes. Uh, it, the bosses, the enemies, the colors, uh, the sprites, if you have it set up that way. As you can see, all the crazy, wacky sprites and whatnot. Chrissy also finding Crash Man stage. Um, yeah. Rough find early on, uh, as if you don't know the zip, then you're, uh, and you don't have the items to do so, you will be having to ride the elevators, which we'll see if, uh, Chrissy does indeed or not know the zip. Meanwhile, Snape, setting up for good wood, he catches himself in the wall, he has to wrap around twice, and then pause here over the pit, and then wrap around again, jump over this pit, jump over this pit. He's basically going through the top half of the treehouse, uh, clipping into the ladder, wrapping out around a couple more times, and then he will find himself in the boss room. Uh, he does not have Quick Boomerang, which is the original setup for the Zip in the vanilla any percent run. Uh, quick Boomerang makes that ladder clip a lot easier. The Buster version is a little bit harder, but he's able to get it and get and bada bing bada boom poof he is in the boss room without having to do the long section in the back and he's gonna find our airman swap and feel free to uh interject anytime you want uh, with donations if we have any or uh you know questions in the chat i'll do my best to kind of uh keep up with it and answer anything you guys might have uh, as we see Chrissy working his way through the elevator section, um, he's running into some problems with the Chanky Makers. Uh, here, he's got, he's got to be careful. If he doesn't have, I don't think he has any, uh, E-Tanks. So he's trying to bust her down this, uh, this last chank. Yeah, no E-Tanks there. Buster down this last chanky so he can ride the elevator a little bit more safely. And he's still got another screen after this. Oh, rough. That is rough picking. Uh, some players do choose to opt out of the stage uh, to save time and then come back later after they um, find some items. So we'll see if Chrissy decides to do that or not. Uh, meanwhile, Snape's going to find himself in Metal Man stage. I'm not sure if he picked up item one to do that zip. I was paying attention to uh, Chrissy's situation and Crash. Uh, in the meantime, but, uh, but yeah, that, uh, Snape is in the back half of Metal now. Uh, 
that's another thing that's randomized about this. Uh, the random weapon pickups, the random item drops. So in uh, vanilla, uh, item one, two, and three are normally in Airman, Heatman, and uh, Flashman stage. However, uh, in the randomizer, you can pick them up anywhere. Speaking of picking up this randomizer, I really do recommend it. It's a lot of fun if you have it already to try it out. Uh, the original creator of this was a uh, community member by the name of Duckfist. Uh, he actually had uh, dropped the project in 2019 and made it open source for the community to be able to work on it. And that's where all the, uh, the sprite work has come in. The pause cancel that uh, we mentioned Quantum, uh, one of the uh, music developers came up with the pause cancel. Uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, yeah, just like this, this randomizer sees a lot of love. It sees a tournament every year. It sees uh, constant development. So, yeah, get involved if you can. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Regardless, uh, yeah, Chrissy is finally making his way to stream three of the elevator section to crash. Uh, like I said, it's, it's kind of hard uh, to find the stage early. It's unfortunate because, uh, because yeah, this elevator section can really be a pain. If you don't have the items to zip, or um, or have studied the pause buffer zip, especially on hidden stage names. Uh, meanwhile, Nate finding his way into Quick Man stage. Uh, we do route in an E tank here. Uh, it usually takes about like three seconds off of the vanilla 80% path of just dropping down, and um, yeah, it's just like the randomizer can be very brutal, especially on easy percent or easy difficulty, aka normal vanilla. So yeah, so we do route any tanks here and there uh, to as kind of a safety. I mean, maybe not in a quote unquote PB attempt, but in a race or a marathon situation, we definitely do. Chrissy making the climb here for Crash as well. Uh, attempting the Buster zip here uh, to get to the other ladder. There he goes, and then he gets it. Very good. While Nate is descending through the quick lasers. Um, used to This actually used to be randomized in like 0.1, the speed of those lasers, but then it was quite annoying because you'd have to find a uh, time stopper in order to get through the section. So uh, while Duckfist was still working on it, he actually uh, made them to where they were uh, vanilla lasers. Uh, same thing with the Yoku block section coming up in heat stage once we get there. Um, those are also vanilla. Uh, Basically, the only thing that has changed as far as, like, layouts of the stage is uh, a quality of life change in Airman stage, which we saw Chrissy in. We'll see Snape in later. Um, they added, uh, where the Lightning Lords do the clouds, they added some platforms just so you can walk, uh, access that a little better uh, without having to have item two to get across. Uh, regardless, uh, Chrissy is going to make his way out of Crashman stage, and he is into Woodman stage, and uh, yeah, Snape is into Flashman stage. And unfortunately, it looks like we've lost Chrissy for the time being. Uh, maybe we'll catch him back here in a second. We'll follow Snape. Uh, as Snape's into the Flashman stage. And I can't really hear the music, which is fine. Maybe that's on my end. Uh, but, uh, yeah, all this music that uh, you guys are hearing, man, it is some awesome stuff that Quantum uh, added uh, to the rando as well. Uh, other, other changes from Vanilla include uh, quick item pickups and quick health pickups, so the speed uh, and the speed of the transitions as well. Uh, those things... They, they they're a lot faster than vanilla. You can like in, you can use the uh, the item pickups. We saw Chrissy do it actually. Um, he he picked up some health uh, while damage boosting, and it canceled uh, the uh, damage frames uh, to where he the knockback frames to where he was able to continue walking or moving forward quicker. I did not see if Snape checked the the wall weakness, but I'm sure he did. Um, usually a, sh a quick shot uh, of the wall weakness, the crash walls, 
um, will help determine whether you want to go north in Flashman stage to pick up that tank or not. Oh, a nice find on uh, Mapes and to find Leaf Shield to be weak to, um, or Crash Man to be weak to the Leaf Shield. Uh, currently, uh, we have got a question in chat. Who is winning or who's in front? Uh, currently, it's hard to tell during the eight Robot Master stages, especially on Hidden Stage Names, as uh, the lengths of the stages kind of, uh, uh, they kind of differ a bit, so depending on what you know, and whatnot, uh, it could be either one. Uh, I would say it might be safe to say Zanate may be leading currently because of uh, his uh, Crashman stage went a little smoother than Chrissy's. Ooh, and as first unfortunate game over Chrissy then also here in the Woodman stage in the boss room. That's gonna definitely put them back as well, unfortunately. But uh, we'll see we'll see what Chrissy can do. Uh, it's not terribly long to uh, to get into good wood again and uh, get through the stage, so uh, we'll see what happens here. And Snape, in the meantime, uh, setting up Heatman Zip using item 3. Uh, it's a bit harder than any percent, as the background sometimes uh, can uh, not give you the vanilla background, so it's harder to uh, have that visual cue of the second brick to be able to just put item 3 down and get into the wall. The safety strat is just to drop down into it. And also, there are some problematic enemy sets there at times. But uh, yeah, Snape is able to uh, traverse this uh, Yoku block section relatively well, not having item 2. And Chrissy is moving through uh, the dogs here, the hot dog enemies, in, uh, in their uh, Woodman stage once again, trying to set up uh, good wood once again. So if you guys like this Goodwood Zip, here is a another one. Oh, nice find, uh, finding Air Shooter for Flashman. Oh, and Bubble Ed to finish him off, not bad at all. Uh, meanwhile, Chrissy trying to uh, clip the top of the ladder once again with Stantler. Oh, it doesn't get the pause buffer. So he's not soft locked. He can go down to the left and get out of there. But, uh, but yeah, unfortunate uh, after uh, after setting that up. He's going to go for it one, one more time and see if uh, he can get it the third time. Third time's the charm. And Snape finds their way into Airman stage. But he does have item too, so he's gonna pick up a little bit of time that Chrissy wasn't able to get here in Airman stage as well. And the good news, the good news uh, about using item two in the front half of the stage is that if you do indeed kill some enemies, you could find the item drops and be able to use it again, saving extra time. Let's see if Chrissy got the good wood, and he does. He is into Woodman Boss Room. Good wood once again. Uh, let's see the chat talking about uh, the Stantler sprite meme that, uh, that Chrissy requested. Ooh, and finds Bubble for Airman stage. Very nice. Very nice find on Chrissy's end to find Bubble. Uh, bubble weakness there. Chrissy in a Metal Man stage. Snape on the back half of air. Yeah, uh, that Stantler sprite, if you guys are wondering about the weird wiggle, so all of our sprite swaps have to uh, line up with vanilla Mega Man, and there is a part of Mega Man's walk cycle where he drops from three tiles to two, and uh, so I did the best I could uh, creating this thing to make it look normal while walking, but uh, it's just silly and it's fun, so you know, I mean... Uh, so if, you, if you're a bit of a perfectionist, then it might not be the best uh, thing for you, but uh, I like it. I think uh, I think Chrissy does too. I hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, the the sprite changes and whatnot. Oh, and we find Dr. Mario uh, to be replacing Wily in this seed. So uh, 
if you guys are new to the randomizer or watching uh we do like to play a little game in the randomizer community when we get to wily one and that game is where we guess the color of the dragon uh moss at the end of the stage here uh, the mecha dragon um we also like to guess his weakness, and if you're familiar enough, you can actually guess the sprite swap as well. There's probably about five uh, sprite swaps uh, that include like a unicorn dragon, a dragon with some uh, 80s style Macho Man shades, uh, a dragon with some regular shades, a swag dragon, an oat dragon from uh, Cut Man's Mad Scissors Day that has the word oat written on their chest, and of course you can guess the vanilla dragon. Um, I guess my guess is normally red and metal. I'll go ahead and say uh, swag dragon. So if you guys would like to guess, I see our host Carter is guessing in the chat. He guesses red dragon. Uh, you guys uh, feel free to make your dragon guesses. Uh, if you do get it right, we give out free bubble gum. <laughs> And when I say free, I mean you have to go to the store and uh, purchase it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> we, we give free randomizer seeds for a year. Oh, I'm sorry, Carter, what's up? I was just saying that doesn't sound terribly free to me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's free if you go and go there and you tell them. They will really know quick exactly question. what is you're talking about. flashing like the original Mega Man 2? Okay, so no, um, there there was a patch made by Mad Ewok Herd, uh, and it reduces the flashing, so uh, the the flashing is not as prominent. The closest thing to a flash is the Wily Two animated and the Wily Five animated graphic, but uh, no no prominent flashes as a quality of life uh, upgrade here. So. Uh, yeah, if you guys are uh, photosensitive, photosensi then uh, no worries here. As you can see, no flashing when his neighbor landing hits, or whenever he does indeed take out this dragon that's weak to air. So if you guys guessed green and air, you win a free supply of Mega Man 2 randomizer seeds. Just go download the randomizer and start playing. Have fun. This also may include, uh, you know, we're, we're feeling generous today, so uh, you guys can still go download it even if you didn't win. That that sounds like fun. Uh, but Snape finding his way into Wily 2. Uh, and meanwhile, Chrissy is finding the back half of Quick Man stage. Let's see what uh, Robot Master's in here for Chrissy while well, Snape is making their way through. And that's Pikachu swap for Heatman, and it's a slow-moving Pikachu. I will say taking the E-Tank is faster than dying, especially since unfortunately Chrissy does not have the uh, uh, have the lives to spare here. And Chrissy doing a little bit of weapon hunting for a weakness. And finds a bit of quick boomerang to work out for him. You definitely don't want to take the body damage. Uh, Time Stomper is a weakness for one boss. Oh, he finds Metal Blade. Very nice. Oh, 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 but he gives the he gives Pikachu a kiss. Unfortunate for Christy. Gonna take the game over. Gonna have to redo a uh, quick count stage here. Oh, and one of the worst Pico Pico boss uh, patterns you can get uh, for customization. We call this Inviso Pico, where uh, when in, when Pico Pico uh, unites or comes together from uh, from either side of their spawning point, they turn invisible, which can be a nightmare to fight against sometimes. <laughs> Luckily, there are accessibility options, so you don't necessarily have to have the boss sprites uh, or all the sprites uh, randomized, but uh, if you don't want to, but uh, a lot of players do enjoy the challenge. And Snape's going to find Air Shooter for the back half of Pico to finish it off. The idea is to find the quickest, uh, of course, the quickest weapon to take out Pico. Uh, it has three weaknesses, I believe, uh, which most, most uh, Wily bosses have two to three weaknesses. 
Ooh, and Snape does find Air Shooter um, for the wall weakness by passing by there. And, uh, yeah, Chrissy making his way through the uh, quick laser beam section again. And if you can notice, uh, if you've got some sharp eyes, that is the Nyan Cat on the end of the quick laser beams there. <laughs> Fun stuff, fun stuff. Chrissy coming back into this fight now against the Pikachu is basically like uh, the trainer coming in, like I trained my Stantler to be level 100. Take this, Pikachu. Hey, I didn't, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, this is a Pokemon battle right here, happening in front of your eyes. In Mega Man, who would have ever thought? Yeah. Chrissy, Chrissy came back and leveled up, uh, you know, uh, unlocked uh, X move from uh, from fighting Pikachu the first time. He won the gym battle there. Ate up some rare, rare candies. Finds his way into Flashman stage. Meanwhile. Uh, Snape did take out the Guts Dozer. I wasn't able to see if there was a sprite swap on that, but there are a couple um, in the randomizer. Uh, one being the Technodrome from the Ninja Turtles, and one being Bowser and the current version. Uh, but but yeah, we have about two two people working on uh, sprites. One beside, or well, one besides myself, myself and uh, a gentleman by the name of Gaming Wild Dad. So, uh, you know, and uh, if you guys join our Discord or whatever, you can uh, make suggestions for stuff for us to work on, and we will. We do enjoy, uh, you know, the community interaction and whatnot. And we try to make this the best game we can. Right, Snape getting the vertical zip and all, unfortunately missing the uh, the back half checkpoint zip here, but uh, that doesn't take that doesn't take that much time, honestly. Uh, Chrissy grabbing the E tank uh, in Flashman stage. We'll see how Snape handles what we call the anxiety rooms because they give you a lot of anxiety going through them sometimes, especially the next screen that he will be going through, which will be the room three. Gonna add them to a cross. Very nice. Textbook, textbook way to get through. And Chrissy finding a death against Crashman, unfortunately. Yeah, Crashman is something else. Sometimes. Uh, he's got a little bit of a slower, spammy cr pattern, so it can be annoying. But Chrissy does find the leaf shield in order to uh, take him out. Snape checking uh, the best weaknesses first. That would be uh, Metal Blade and Leaf Shield. If Pico is weak to those, then you don't even have to destroy the walls in this room or know the crash weakness. But uh, fortunately, Snape does know. He's going to do all his checks, and he's going to find Heat. Uh, atomic Heat, Atomic Fire. Which uh, is the supercharged variant. So no charging here needed. Another thing that's randomized in this randomizer is uh, the behavior of weapons. And we're in the refights. And Snape finding Sanic, or Quick Man first. We got Woodman and Chrissy going to attempt to uh, get through uh, the Yoku block section in Heatman stage in the meantime. Yeah, this uh, this Stantler sprite was just made this week, actually, so uh, he didn't get a whole lot of time to practice with it. Uh, although, although most of the sprite swaps are the vanilla Mega Man, you can kind of see where the funk is on this one a bit, so it might be a little uh, off-putting uh, to to use uh, without some practice, of course. All right, we got 
three robot masters down for Snape. We're going to the fourth here. He, he indeed found Metal Blade for the weakness. There is a super weakness to where it, could, uh, it only takes two hits to kill. Uh, we didn't find that one, but we found one that was good enough. And that, and that only is if sometimes on like one or two bosses. It's not always like every boss is going to have it. They do have weaknesses, but how weak the number of the damage values are, um, are, are, are random, so. And, uh, Metal Man and Water, Snape can actually manipulate him to dance to where he doesn't throw Metal Blades. He didn't this time, but, uh, he, he got, uh, he got it a little bit at the end there. Let's see, Chrissy finds heat for... Flash, maybe? No, he doesn't. But he does find air. And meanwhile, Snape on his last robot master, that's gonna be Bubble Man. And Chris, you gonna join us in the Wily stages now? This is actually quite rare now. A uh, Buster Weak Machine. Uh, usually, uh, usually the machine... They say it's 50-50, but it's really more like 80-90-10 as far as the uh, percentage, the weakness of the machine is Buster Weak. It used to be reversed to where it was always Buster Weak. Then they changed it, and now it's hardly ever Buster Weak. So that is the 1% or the 10% right there. And uh, Snape finding his way into what we call Victory Road. That's Wily Six. He's setting up for the uh, the zip there because he's got a pretty good item one. And he misses the first attempt. Oh, almost got in. Uh, is he gonna get it? No, he's just gonna go ahead and uh, flash and uh, and walk, walk the walk. Gonna go ahead and finish this seat out strong. Or attempt to here. Let's see what Dr. Mario turns into, and that's gonna just be a. Oh, that's gonna be a Wily Casino capsule. In case you're just now joining us, you can actually join me. Uh, you could uh, guess the color of the dragon again. We all know what it is. Some of us do that have been here the whole run. But uh, if you'd like to play that game, feel free. And in the meantime, Snape is going to take the win of this race with a race time GG time of 31.07. GG's to Snape. Snape. And we'll see uh, how, how Chrissy does uh, against the dragon here. Uh, not Buster. Negative on the heat. Oh, he finds uh, Leaf Shield, though. He does find Leaf Shield. Hey, what's up, Snape? You in here? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, welcome, welcome. Uh, how, how'd, you, how'd you enjoy the uh, seed there? That was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. I like it, I like it. Yeah, I think uh, Critzy is going to go ahead and uh, forfeit uh, out of the race uh, to uh, go ahead and save some time for you guys and whatnot. But, that uh, was an insane seed. <laughs> 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 but I love the ending where Stantler just jumped over the the Pokemon trainers and then like had an, a, a fight with the dragon. One on one was great. <laughs> yeah, you had a few Pokemon battles. You, uh, Stantler versus Pikachu a couple times. You had to go back to, to hit the gym and level up. And come back. You, you, you know, you know, it's qu it's quite funny. Uh, for th for those who remember Pixels, the first Pixels for Peace, um, I actually played Pokemon Gold, um, and we didn't have Stantler at that time. But we 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 were fighting Pikachu for like an extra twenty minutes or something. 
So, uh, dying to that Pikachu, you know, that, um, that sent me back, you know? <laughs> kind of a throwback to your old run, huh? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, really, really fun run. GG sniping, and, uh, thanks a lot, Charlie, for commentating. Yeah, thanks for the calls, yeah, sure, man. No problem. No problem, no problem. Uh, anything else, uh, you guys want to add before we, uh, get out of here? Uh, yeah, I just want to see if you guys have any, like, uh, shoutouts you'd like to give. Yeah, shoutouts to everyone behind uh, Randomizer, Charlie Boy, uh, Quantum, Creed, everyone. And everyone should test this out, it's amazing. Yeah, uh, I'll uh, take the baton there and uh, say a huge thank you for having us to the Pixel for Peace team and for having this event. Uh, going after all these years, it's, it's it's a blast to be here every time, uh, to be a uh, pain in the butt for Ahmad and Carter and everybody else. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's really fun to be a part of this, and uh, I really hope that this continues every year for the rest of our lives. Yes. <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Well, thank you so much again for taking part in Pixels for people. Um... We are going to be going to intermission here as we are getting ready for a restreamer swap. And we will be back very soon with Tempest Mask 1000 doing Spark the Electric Jester 2 any percent minimum tech.